Let's finish off the roof pieces now. So as usual, let's bring the guide meshes and then make sure we have that area selected. And then duplicate, I'm going to press M and move that into vehicle. And let's disable the guide mesh again. Now let's see how we can clean this up. I'm going to take this and then delete the vetsies and take everything we have in the back and then just delete it. Alright, so just like we did with the others, let's just go ahead and then select the edges we need here so we can cut through that mesh. Let's move the whole thing up and then extrude it down to cut through that piece. Let's delete the modifiers we have on them except for the mirror modifier. Now let's add in a boolean to this and then select the target or the object to be this piece here. Let's change the solver here and then see what that gives us. Let me take this piece here and then slide it all the way through so it cuts through the mesh completely. Let's drop this down to a 2 and let's try that again. So what we're going to do now is to apply that boolean and then let's take this and move it to the backup. Now let's see what we can do here. So we need to clean this up. We're going to select the excess vertices we have on the other side and then just delete them. Let's go over to the top view and then clean things up a little bit better. Alright, now let's go ahead and add an extra loop cut for this area here. Let's get to the top view. Make sure that it is straight. So something like so. Take these two and then hit J. Let's get into camera view and make sure it is sitting in the right place. Let's switch the camera, see what we got. Okay, so I think we have a bit of an issue with this area here. Let's see how we can fix this. This edge line we have in here is not in the right position. So before we get started, let's take this and dissolve the edges. Now let's get over to the top view and select all the one that forms the edges in the middle, like so. This shouldn't be too difficult. So let's select everything, get into camera view. Now let's switch the camera angle so we have something that shows us that area a bit more. So this edge here or the cutout we have over here is supposed to be somewhere here. So I'm going to press G and X and move this in the X axis to about there. Let me get to the top view and see what we have. I'm going to have to move it a bit more to about there. Okay, so now let's just take the pieces we have in the front and back and move them back into their right position. So this one is going to be somewhere around here. And I think that one should just be sitting right where it is. Let me just move it back a bit more. So it's about somewhere here. And I think that's about good. Let's take a look at the back as well. So I'm going to take this and then move it back a little bit like so. Let's see what we can do about this area. So we're just going to press G and an X. Maybe rotate it a bit. And I'm going to take this one as well. G and an X. Move that to about here. And finally, let's take this. G and an X and move that to about there. All right, there we go. I'm not sure how we didn't catch that before, but there we go. Let me just press G and an X and move this so this is straight. And then there we go. All right. Now let's go ahead and then get back into the front view. Now we have the cutout in this area instead of there. So let's take this and then press G twice, press E to align with the right side, and then move it to about there. Let's get to the front view, make sure we have the gap the same. I'm going to take this, slide this back a bit, let's merge this to that, and let me slide this in to about there. Very nice. Let's take care of these vertices we have here. Okay, very nice. Let me just take all of this. I'm going to press S and Y and type in 0, and I'm going to share this in a Y axis until it's straight, like that. Alright, now let's take the whole thing, now let's just press G and Y, and move this out to about somewhere there, like so. 
Now one more thing I want to do is if you take a look at this area you can see the surface on the left and the one on the right are not flush together. So this one is slightly offset to the bottom or slightly below the one on the right hand side. So let's see how we can go ahead and achieve this on the meshes we have here. So in our case what that means is the pieces we have on the back here are also slightly dropped. So let's take all the pieces we have in the middle here. Now I'm going to press B to separate the selection. Now let's take everything and what we're going to do is we're going to press G and Z and move this down a bit. Once we're done moving that down, we can go to our shrink wrap modifier and then let's offset this to the bottom a little bit like that. Now the reason why we had to move it down a bit before offsetting is if you don't do that, you'll have issues with the surface in this area you see some surfaces pushing to the top and others pushing to the bottom maybe i might demonstrate that with this piece we have over here but for now just do as i did and you should be fine so now i'm going to select these two and then press x and delete the faces now let me just press ctrl and r through here press e to align with the one on the right do the same thing here e and an f and i'm going to add one in the back here but first off let's get to the top view I'm going to move this in the Y axis a little bit more. Let's see what we got. Okay, not bad. So Ctrl and R through here and then through there to support the edges a bit more. Now let's go ahead and add in shrink wrap modifiers to these pieces here. So I'm going to add in a shrink wrap modifier and then set the target to be the roof guide mesh. So in order to move this piece down a little bit, we're going to have to make it its own object. So we're going to select everything, press P and say selection. Now, as I said before, if we try to just offset the value here, you can see what happens. You can see some surfaces are being pushed up and others are being pushed down. So the best thing or the best way to fix this is what we did with the pieces we have in the back here. So we're going to have to take everything. Let's get into full screen here. And you can either hit Alt and S like so, or you can just move this down like so. So first off, let's drop this down to zero. Let me just move this down in the Z axis, like so. Just so it is enough to define where it is supposed to be offsetting to. So something like that. Let me take the piece we have here. Or let me just take all that we have in the front here. And I'm going to move it in the Y axis to about somewhere here. Now let's enable the offset. Let's just send it down to be the same level as the one we have behind it. So I'm going to go with something like 0 0.015 maybe. Yeah, now let me set the same thing for the ones at the back. So 0 0.015. And I think that should be a good amount of offset. Now let's go ahead and make the cutout for the lights we have at the top here. So you can see we have a nice cutout going on in this area here. So let's go into edit mode and see how we can achieve that. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to use this edge over here. Slide it to the left here like so. Deselect this, slide this to the left, deselect that, and slide this to the left. Now let's take a look at this. Let me get back into camera view, and I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here, and then add one at the top like so. Select everything else, and then slide this to the left a bit more like so. Alright. So now what I'm going to do is to take everything. I'm going to press I to insert a face in there. Hit Ctrl B to enable boundary. I'm going to insert a bit of face to about somewhere around, I think here is good. Now let's insert one more to about there. And I'm going to insert one final one to about there. All right. So now let's take all the ones we have in the middle here and delete the faces. Now let's see how we can define the curve a bit more. So I'm going to press Ctrl and R to here and here. I'm going to press G twice. Press E to align with the right hand side and move it to about there. Let's get into camera view and see how we have to define this. Okay, so let's take this now. Now let's slide it down a bit to about somewhere here. And I think that should be good. Let me get to the top view here. Let me take all of this, make this the active element. And I'm going to press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, S and then X. And then share this so we have a straight line going through like that. I'm going to take this, press G and an X, and then take that, press G and an X, maybe this one a little bit more, and then there we go. Let me just take these and slide it to the left a bit, to something like that. Alright, 
Very nice. Very nice. Now let's make our way down here and get into camera view. Let me switch the camera angle to something that can help us with this. So maybe something like so. And I'm going to take this. For now, we're just going to cut it short here until we make this piece here and then see how we can define this area to better match with the piece we have over here. So for now, we're just going to slide this down and then use the knife tool and then knife it. Let me get to the side view. Yeah. Now I'm going to knife it from here. Let me just take this and slide it down a bit more. Now let's just press A and then C to cut all the way through like that. Let's dissolve these edges and then delete everything else we have below, like so. All right. Now let me just press Ctrl and R through here. Press E and then align with the one below, like so. Now let's slide this a little bit beyond to about there. Now once we make the piece we have on the left side here, the one on top of the hood, we can define how to cut this area and define that area a bit more. All right. So the final thing we're going to do now is to add in solidify to each and every single piece we just created. So let's start with the one we have in the middle here. So I'm going to go ahead and then add in a solidify modifier. And as usual, we're going to set the thickness to be 0 0.05. Now let's make sure we apply rotation and scale just so the thickness is accurate. Now we're going to enable even thickness and only rim. Now I'm just going to duplicate that solidify modifier. Now we're going to drop the value by half, so 0.25. And that should create the inner lip we have over here. Let's do the same thing with this one before we start cleaning things up. So solidify, thickness 0 0.05, apply rotation and scale, duplicate, 0 0.025, enable even thickness, only rim, enable even thickness and only rim. All right, there we go. So now we can take this one and then let's apply the first set. Now let's apply the first solidify. Let's go over into edit mode and select everything we have here and remove it. Let's add in a new vertex group, remove it from that, and then press Ctrl and I and assign the others to that group. Now let's go back to the modifier tab and then let's set that into the shrink wrap modifier. Now let's just get into the middle here and delete the faces in the middle like that. Let's take everything and let's just press G and X to make sure they're merging in the center. All right, let's get into full screen and see if we need to clean anything up. And I don't think we would need to. Let's see. All right, so nothing needs cleaning up. Let's go ahead and apply the second solidify modifier. So apply. Now let's get in here. And as usual, we got to delete the faces we have here. And let's make sure it's merging at the center like that. Now let's see if this requires any cleaning. Let's go ahead and add in extra loop cuts in the middle of both of them. We're going to have to make sure we move them from the surface vertex group here. Now let's just hit Alt and S and then shrink this out to about something, maybe a little bit more. So to about something like this. Okay, very nice. So now we're just going to have to move things in this area a bit more. So let me take all of these, deselect the ones we have on the left. Let me just move this in the x-axis to about somewhere here like so. And I'm going to do the same thing with this side. Select everything, G and N, Y, and move this in the y-axis like so. I'm just going to have to move it down in the Z a little bit like that. Maybe in the y-axis a little bit more. All right, not bad. Let me take the one we have here. I think I'm going to close this gap down a bit more. I'm just going to slide it around. So we have something like that. Okay, very nice. Let me take this one as well. All the ones we have here. This is just me being nitpicky. So if you want to do this as well, you can go ahead. Mm, I think, yeah, I think that's good. Very nice. Now let's head over to this side. Now let's see what we can do about here. Let me take the whole thing. I'm going to press Gen and X and move this to about somewhere here. Let me move it here a bit more. Now let's take the ones on the top. Now let's just press G and Y and move this out a little bit inside 
like so and that looks quite good all right now we can go ahead and apply the solidify modifier for this piece as well so when i apply the first solidify modifier and as usual we have to take everything add in a new vertex group remove and then assign the others now let's go back into the modifier tab and then enable that in our shrink wrap modifier here now let's take this let's see how we can clean things up on this piece here all right so just this area right here i'm going to slide this to here and i'm going to slide it out to about there like that all right now let's go ahead and apply the second solidify modifier so apply and let's get back in here and see what we have to clean up All right, there we go. Now finally, we're gonna add in the extra loop cut in the middle here and make sure we remove that from the group. Now we're just gonna hit Alt and S and then shrink this out to something like so. All right, very nice. Let's get to the top. I'm gonna take all the ones we have here. Now let's just press G and X and move it in a little bit. And I'm gonna take this one, press G and X and move this out a little bit. Let me take the ones we have here, press G and Z, move it down a bit, and then there we go. I don't like this squiggly line going on here, so I'm just going to try and clean that up a bit more. So let me start with this, get onto the front, I'm going to press G and X, and move this to about here. Let's take the next one, get to the front view, move this in the X axis until we have the line straight. So something like that. I'm going to take the one behind again. Let's move it in the X. And then let's take this one and move it in the X a little bit. And I think that should be about good. And I'm just going to straighten it up a bit more. All right. There we go. One more thing I want to do is to take these vertices here. Now I'm going to press G and Y and move this in the Y axis a little bit like that. 